Uh, I remember picketing in front of a place on Tate Street called the Apple Pan. Mm -hmm. I think that was the name of it. Apple was in there anyway. And one of the and we took shifts, you know, uh, mm -hmm. with picketing. I remember one night it was a Saturday night, I believe, and some white guys were heckling us. And it was a bunch of guys sitting on a little hill across the street, uh, and they're sitting there watching. And then at some point, one of them walked over and said to one of the white girls, "I said, uh, don't you worry." We're the 82nd Airborne. <laughs> so don't worry about those guys. They're not going to oh, bother okay. you. They're not going to bother you. We're from the 82nd Airborne. <laughs> and we'll take care of it. Mm. And that, that was touching. That was very touching. So you had the, the Tate Street uh, movements were both white and black students yeah. were getting involved. Yeah. And was it really just the women's college students or were there students coming over from other schools? I don't remember any students from any other schools. I think it was all... Women's College. And what was the kind of, I mean, obviously it was about integrating. There was a theater down there, too. And uh, did you just, what was it like? What did you guys do? Obviously, you said you did some, you know, sitting and protesting. We were picketing. picketing. We were picketing. I don't remember sitting or anything, but we okay. were picketing. Picketing. Yeah. How did your parents feel about you being involved? They didn't like it. They didn't like it. Did you tell them, or did they? Uh, yeah, some of I told them. Some of it they found out anyway because it was on the news. But um, they didn't want me participating at either, on either campus because they felt it jeopardized their job. So we had quite a go-around about that because, hey, you're the one who told me segregation is wrong and I'm going to do something about it and you're trying to tell me not to do it or let somebody else do it. And if everybody said let somebody else do it, nobody would do anything 